everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 33 chapter Daniel in the Perth, the King's Dream. King Neb... <laughs> so name that. So long name. Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon was afraid. I have a dream, but I don't know the meaning. I can't understand. The king gathered many people. The king asked them to interpret the meaning of the dream. <coughs> so, king of Babylon was like afraid because he didn't understand the meaning of the dream. Interpret my dream, said the king. How can we know about your dream, said the people. The king didn't like their answer. If you can interpret my dream, I will kill you. People were trembling with fear. So, this king had a dream. He had a dream. And he didn't know the meaning. So, like, but no one could like interpret the dream. So, like the king suddenly was angry and said, "Like if you can't, I will kill you." Daniel was God's man. Daniel said to the king, "I will interpret the dream for you." One day, Daniel, God's man said to the king that I will interpret the dream for you. Daniel prayed to God, What is the meaning of the dream? Please give me wisdom, God. God told Daniel what the dream was about. Thank you, God, for letting me know the meaning of the dream. So, Daniel prayed to God. And God told him the dream that told the dream, and Daniel said, Daniel told the king about the dream. Nobody could explain the dream. The king was that fish. The king was afraid of Daniel's God. So, so the king knew the meaning of the dream and like he was like afraid of Daniel's God because he had told the meaning of the dream. No one could tell it, but Daniel's God knew. The king was surprised by Daniel wisdom. The king placed him in a high position. The king gave many gifts. The Daniel, uh, the king let Daniel rule over Babylon. The king made Daniel a teacher for very wise men. David thanked God for helping him. So God helped. Daniel and God, uh, the king placed him in a high position. Oh, there's no place. <laughs> high position. And actually, in this time, some people were jealous of Daniel. Thirty 
fourth chapter, God helped Daniel. King Darius, man, said King Darius is going to place and Daniel in a high position. But Daniel is a forgetter. Daniel ruled over Babylon. He was loyal and faithful. King Darius, man, didn't like Daniel. They failed to find Daniel's fault. So he was so angry with Daniel. Um, actually, the king dress man was jealous of Daniel. So he was like going to find Daniel's fault. They asked the king to make a new rule. The rule was. All of you must pray and bow only to the king. If you disobey, you will be thrown into a lion's den. So, finally, wise men find that Daniel was praying to God. But that is not a fault. Wrong. It is not the wrong thing. So like they said to make a new rule to only disobey, uh, only obey the king. The bad people saw Daniel praying to God. <laughs> Daniel knew about the new rule, but he prayed to God. The bad people saw Daniel praying to God. So Daniel. Was praying to God. He knew the new rules, but he prayed to God because he knows that that is the right thing to do. Bad people report Daniel to the king. The king was not happy. He wanted to save Daniel, but the king had to put Daniel in the lion's den. It was a rule. The king commanded them to put Daniel into the lion's den. The king said, "Your God will help you." People blocked the lion's den with a large stone. The king couldn't sleep that night. The king, he couldn't eat anything. Early next morning, the king went to see Daniel. Daniel, did you? Did your God help you, Daniel? Called the king. Yes, answered the da- answered Daniel. God sent me angels to protect me from the lions. King Darius was so happy. He ordered his men to take Daniel out of the lions' den. No word was found in Daniel. Daniel trusted God. The king ordered everyone to honor and respect God. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another God story, thirty-five chapter. John learned to obey God. Yes, then let's see you next time. Bye.